What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel for a brand new video. As you all know, COD Champs kicks off tomorrow, it is shaping up to be an absolutely phenomenal tournament, and when I was planning about what video should I make, you know, before Champs, I was like, I'm not really sure, I'm kind of out of ideas, so I thought, why don't I give some love and show some respect to the players who I think have been the best players for their team so far this season, but there's a twist, so... I'm going to talk about who I think is the best player for each team at Champs, and I also am going to talk about who I think will be the X Factor for their team at Champs if they are going to win the event. Just because, you know, it's kind of hard to quantify who the best player is. Everybody values different things, so I thought, okay, on one hand, I will give just who I think is the best player, and then on one hand, I'll give somebody who I think will be the X Factor, and we'll have to go off if their team is going to win Champs. So that's what I did for all the eight teams that will be playing at COD Champs. If you enjoy this video, definitely leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well with your thoughts in the video and who you think are the best players for all the teams at Champs, and also subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more videos from me in the future because the offseason is right around the corner and there will definitely be a lot of content coming from me in the offseason so I appreciate all of that and let's hop right into the video okay we're going to go in order by the way the teams are seated for champs so kicking us off we have the one seed Atlanta phase I think without a doubt their best player is simp he is the best player in the world in my opinion there was a brief point earlier in the season where I thought his teammate and his duo Abizi was the best player in the world but I don't think that anymore I think simp has just been absolutely phenomenal for this Atlanta phase team he has been arguably or maybe not even arguably the best player in the world pretty much for three years straight now this guy is just an absolute beast we all know that we all know how freaking good he is on the map not much more needs to be said about that he is simp he will show up he will play well at champs their x factor though i will go with the bz and here is why a bz is kind of their guy whereas we all know he plays very aggressive he gets up in the enemy's face a lot and he makes a lot of plays for them and the thing with him is if he's frying, he makes all of his teammates' jobs so much easier because of all the pressure he takes off of them because he applies so much pressure himself. So if he's playing well, it just makes Simp's job easier. It makes Shelly Monarchy's job so much easier as well. Now, the good news for FaZe is that even if Abizi has a bad event, they still have enough talent that they can still win the event even with him playing poorly because Shelly, Simp, and Archie's are all good enough where if they are put in tougher situations, they're still good enough to get out of them. But Abizi definitely makes their job easier, so I think he is their X Factor, and if he plays well, they will have a very good chance to win this event. But of course, Simp, he will be there too because he performs pretty much out of this world every time we see him play. Next up, the two seed, the Toronto Ultra. I think without a doubt, their best player is Cammy. I think he's a top three player in the entire world alongside Simp and Ibizi. He has been an absolute menace for this team so far this season. The way he plays that aggressive AR role for them, he is just so good. He gets so many kills, makes so many plays, lots of engagements for an AR, high KD. Everything about this guy is phenomenal. However, their X Factor, I know a lot of people would probably say Bance, but I'm going to go with Kleenex. And for similar reasons as Ibizi, honestly, he is their fast placed SMG player. He is one of the fastest paced SMG players in the entire league, you know, fastest paced overall players he plays super fast he puts a lot of pressure on the map just like i was saying with the bz and the same sort of thing he can make his teammates jobs easier when he's up on the front lines getting all the engagements and getting a lot of kills it's just less work for everybody else to do and they play such a team friendly environment where if one guy can stand out individually that just makes it so much easier for the other guys because their goal is already not to play as individuals but to play as a team so if somebody's frying as an individual it just makes everybody else's job so much easier kleenex is definitely their guy for that of course i think cam is the best player i think he can really take over a map where kleenex when he takes over it's not going to be with a 1.3 or 1.4 kd it'll be with 75 80 engagements in a hard point game and he gets 30 35 kills i mean he can just do that he gets so much damage so many engagements puts a lot of pressure on the map and he definitely is toronto's x factor to win this event in my opinion Next up, the defending champs, the third seed, Dallas Empire. Their best player is, of course, Shotzi. He has been one of the best players in the world for a while now. He had a rough start to the year, but he has really picked it up lately. Um, he just His movement, we can say what everyone about Shotzi, you already know. He's just so skilled, such an individual talent, and also just a good team player as well. For their X Factor, though, I am going to say Crim6. I am not sticking with my trend of picking the aggressive sub. If I did, that would be vivid for this team. But I'm going with Crim6, mostly because of the intangibles, because he is the guy with the most experience, of course, the most wins in Call of Duty history, three rings, yada 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 you know the drill he is this team's leader he's been playing very well lately after a tough middle of the year he picked it up again in stage four and stage five Shotzi needs some help him and Vivid have been playing well Krim and Illy sort of were the weak links there for a while they are getting better and it's been showing in their team success as well so if they're going to do well Krim 6 will have to turn in a classical Krim 6 at chance performance and if he does that this team has a very good chance to three-peat or to repeat in my opinion the fan favorites the Optic Chicago I think their best player is Dashi. I think pretty much over the course of the entire season you could make an argument for Skump but Dashi is just so quietly just good I mean he puts up numbers and it just seemed like he really didn't do anything it's just like another day at the office for him this guy is just so talented talented and puts up so many numbers I have to have him as Optic's best player I think he was a top 10 player in the league this year I like I said for a little bit there Scum could have been their best player but for right now I have Dashy because he is just so talented on that second AR role and then for their X Factor, I do actually have Envoy. I think he's just their playmaker. We all know that. He makes the plays. It's sort of like 
if he's playing poorly, they're going to play poorly. But if he plays well, they're going to they're going to win because when this guy takes over a map, it's just infectious to his teammates. You can see if he's like plus ten, plus fifteen in a respawn, they're not losing. He just when he picks it up, everybody picks it up and they play really well together. I think he's their route man. He's their playmaker. He does a lot for this team. He's one of their leaders. So overall, Envoy, a big event from him could be a big event for them as a team. And just to get it out there because I know people will probably ask for Scump, I'd probably have him as the second the second person for both these categories i think he's their second best player right now and also their second x factor because it's champ scump if he shows up and he keeps playing well in search they will have a chance to get their first win of the season in the biggest tournament of them all Earlier, I accidentally said a three-peat. That was kind of a reference to the New York Subliners because, as we all know, one of the biggest storylines of this event is Glacier's return and his quest for the three-peat. However, when we get to the New York Subliners, I think their best player is Hydra. I think most people would agree. Since he's joined this team, he has been very good, especially in the respawns. I mean, he has had his ups and downs, but they as a team have had their ups and downs. They've had a lot going on this year with Asim's connection issues, his visa issues, Clay taking his break, lots of moving pieces with this roster. So it's kind of been hard for anybody to get in like a really solid rhythm. But Hydra has been very good for them. We all know that. He played out of his mind at the last major i just think that in the hard points especially in the response but just all around if he goes off he has the potential to go off on any single map and when he does it it makes their team very likely to win or at least be close and their x factor it's got to be asim he kind of like envoy he's their route man he makes the plays for this team he's a leader as well he's their hype guy their energy man if he's playing well they will do well because he will make hydra's job a lot easier if hydra does not have to worry at all about making the plays and doing the dirty work and just going out and slaying out because asim's handling all the dirty work that is a recipe for success for this team and if they would any chance at a three-peat for clayster i think it runs to through their smg duo Stage 5 champions, the Minnesota Rocker, their best player is, of course, Standy. He pretty much has been their best player since he joined this team, what, back in Stage 3, I believe it was, maybe even Stage 2. He's been great. He is the Stage 5 player of the stage, so kind of like the reigning MVP, if you want to call it that. He's one of the top probably eight players in the game just been absolutely phenomenal in the smg role and then for their x factor it was kind of down to priest and major maniac for me just because attach it's a big tournament it's a, it's one of the biggest times of the year of course at champs so you know what you're going to get with attach he always seems to perform well when the lights are the brightest then down to priest and major maniac i went with major maniac because i think if he's having a bad a series or a bad tournament it can get really bad we've seen especially from the, him and the respawns this year if he's playing poorly it can get bad fast at the same time, though, if he's playing well, it can really rub off on his teammates very fast, as we saw at the Stage 5 Major. So he, like, just the definition of an X-Factor, in my opinion, because if he plays well, they play well, and if he plays poorly, he can sort of drag them down sometimes. So if he shows up, we know Attach will show up, we know Stanley will probably show up. Priesta, he's up and down, but when he's up, he's very up. So overall, Major Maniac brings that consistency, that reliability at that Maniac role, and this team definitely has a chance to get their second championship of the year. Getting on to the losers bracket first with the seven seed LA Thieves, we have Kenny as their best player in my opinion. I think over the course of the year, he's had ups and downs a little bit, but for the most part, he's been their most consistent player and their best player. When they had all their roster moves, he was like the only constant on this roster. I think he's the only person to play for them this entire year. He's just been a staple for them. He's been pretty quality all season long. For their X Factor, I was thinking about Slasher because it's champ Slasher on land. He should show up and play well, but at the same time, that's kind of like you know what you're going to get from him, whereas with Jiraza, this guy of course, as we all know, the potential of this guy, the roles he plays in the map, the plays he makes, he, he's really a do-it-all man. He's the true definition of a flex player. So if he shows up and he plays well, that will make everybody else's job so much easier because he can really do anything. If you want him to go get you spawns in a hard point, you want him to make a play in search, you want him to play aggressive or play slow, he will do it all. So if he's doing what he does, just doing his thing like we know he can do, that makes this team dangerous in my opinion. I think of the bottom three or four teams, this is it's just a dangerous team. They have the potential to make a run at it. I know they're on the loser's bracket, so it kind of sucks for them. But they can get hot with the players they have in this roster. And if they do, they are dangerous. They might pull some upsets, in my opinion. And last but not least, we are on to the Florida Mutineers. Their best player, it's got to be Skies. I think at different points in the year, you could have said maybe he was not their best player. But in Stage 5, he certainly was. He was, I mean, I know the KD is not everything, but he was one of the best players in the entire CDL in Stage 5. He had like the highest KD. To, uh, I know he had a high hard point KD as well, so his stats were great. He played very well in Stage 5. For their X Factor, I'm going to give it to Neptune. I think he's a playmaker. That's like he's the definition of a playmaker. He's a tough kill. When his movement is on point and he's feeling himself, he's a very tough kill. He can make everybody else's job easier, kind of like I've been saying a lot lately. You know, Big Wake is technically their flex player, but I think Neptune is a true flex player. We've seen him play very well. If he picks up somebody's AR, he can play well with that gun. He's a very good search player. This team is inconsistent. We all know that. It has been their Achilles heel pretty much all season long, and Neptune has kind of been inconsistent too. But when he is on, he is on, and he will have to be on for this team to do really anything at champs. So if they want any chance at a run at this thing, I think it starts with these two guys, Skies and Neptune. And if they play well, anything's possible. So that's going to do it 
it for this video. If you enjoyed, definitely leave a like down below and leave a comment as well with your thoughts on the video and who you think is each team's X Factor as we approach COD Champs. And also subscribe to the channel as well if you want an, an off-season full of videos from me and your subscriber box. I do appreciate all of that so very much. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good day today. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.